Assalamu alaikum welcome to Times of Ummah today's first news update is coming from Israel where Al Jazeera's journalist who was arrested by Israeli police left hospital on Sunday after receiving treatment for injuries sustained during her arrest by Israeli forces there we were her left hand was fractured and she was arrested during she was covering a demonstration in the occupied East Jerusalem there we were Israeli police also destroyed her camera and her arrest drew condemnation from press freedom advocate and media watchdog the Doha based media net Jerusalem correspondent was accused of assaulting a female police officer and not presenting her credentials claims both she and Al Jazeera strongly deny the Israeli allegations were also contradicted by footage shot Abu Dhabi's arrest she told Al Jazeera that i am trying to be okay but they broke my hand and i spent all the night in the hospital she said had bruising on several other areas of her body a headache a pain in her back and her leg that makes it hard to walk she said she was treated as a criminal when she was taken to the police station and during several hours in custody was prevented from removing her heavy flak jacket or closing her eyes when she felt tired but they recorded an israeli police officer saying we will make you shut up if we make al jazeera be silent everyone will shut up she said the microphone and camera will stay nothing will stop us the spokesperson of reporters without borders sabrina binovi said the arrest was a clear violation of press freedom she said there is a clear will from the israeli authorities to prevent journalists from doing her job and from reporting on the ground and al jazeera reporter said from ramallah the failing here by some of the speakers is that israel is deliberately targeting those journalists because they are showing the world the reality of what's happening in under occupation they feel israel has been losing the media war because they feel it has been exposed its measures its violations and that's why they are trying to target journalists to silence them there we were the israeli government violates rules international law press freedom destroying media's houses violates human rights but still the united states is silent a power who invaded afghanistan just for women's rights who invaded iraq for human rights and killed millions why it is still silent about israel please tell us in the comments box below dear viewers according to reporters without borders in recent weeks israel detained 14 palestinian journalists and placed them in administrative detentions dear viewers now is a time for human rights campaigners to say against israel if israel is not an exception The second news update is coming from Afghanistan where the Afghan Taliban's deadly attacks has surged in especially last 24 hours and have killed over 150 Afghan security forces. There we were heavy clashes has still continued and Taliban have took control of several districts and sources has said the deadly war is now raging in 26 of the country's 34 provinces. The Afghan government official has said the fighting surged as United States started its withdrawal from Afghanistan. According to local officials the Taliban seized Shahrag district of Western Gohar province on Monday and forced Afghan security forces to retreat to nearby villages after a heavy fire fight there we were a government troops have launched an operation to recapture a strategic district of Narg of Wardak province that lies and a police official has said on the same day Taliban fighters stormed the Kaisar district of Nadran Paria province killing and wounding dozens of Afghan security forces there we were Taliban is continuously attacking the Afghan security forces and have took control of many districts Expert saying if the attacks still continue like this Taliban also can take over even Kabul because all the world now knows that Taliban has the upper hand and the Afghan security forces now don't know what to do previously Ashraf Ghani has also said in an interview that I am just one bullet away from my death and according to experts the Taliban has now the right to restore its amarat islami and make a judgment through islamic laws and Taliban has already the control of over 70% of the Afghanistan and they have the islamic law and we hope Taliban will bring a long awaited peace once again in Afghanistan as they did in 90s there we was Taliban knows that before we join any political settlement we have to take control of as many as districts we can The United States government continuously pressurizing Pakistan to bring Taliban back to peace talks that will be held in Istanbul, Turkey. And Pakistan did its best to convince Taliban for Turkey's conference, but Taliban have put some conditions that includes the conference should be short, the delegation will be unlawful, and there will be no decisions on important matters. So Taliban has said it will join the conference, but with these conditions. So the Taliban has now realized that we should take control of as many as areas we can, and if they don't, and on the other hand Taliban will have to to control up Kabul as well there we were we are updating you about Afghanistan situation on daily basis if you want to keep yourself updated please make sure to subscribe times up umma Today's 
third news update is coming from Palestine, where huge protests have been seen in Beta and occupied West Bank to prevent Israel from building an illegal settlement on their land. Beta activists call on residents to fight the continuing takeover of their land on Mount Sabeh by Israeli settlers, who are currently building an illegal settlement and threatening the livelihood of at least 17 Palestinian families, a more than 100 people who depend on harvesting their olives on land they have owned for generations. And Pawas better said, Today we had 50 injuries by rubber bullets, 26 wounded by live bullets, 190 cases of tear gas inhalation, and 27 other injuries including beatings. He said two of injuries are serious and involved a live bullet shot into the abdomen. Several ambulances were targeted by rubber bullets. Two paramedics suffered injuries by tear gas inhalation and rubber bullets respectively. Their viewers Palestinian trying their best to prevent the Israeli settlers from the lands because they are building homes and Palestinian protests against them. Israeli forces trying to stop people from reaching the protest sites and forcing them to take alternative routes. Throughout the day, groups of young men observed by journalists on a hilltop played a game of cat and mouse as they attempt to move down the valley, across a dirt road where Israeli vehicles and soldiers were stationed, and up Mount Sabeh toward the settlement to protests. A man said who declined to be photographed, the settlers made regular raids into Betha, chopping down olive trees, vandalizing property and provoking the locals, and had already wounded a many young men. He said they will not take our land before they have killed all of us. Israeli drones armed with tear gases canisters flew overhead periodically before hovering above the young men and dispersing their lords. According to Al Jazeera, it observed Israeli soldiers firing toward the young men with live rounds, rubber-coated steel bullets and tear gas. There were the ambulances working fast to pick up the wounded and sometimes traveling and conveys raced backwards and forwards until the early evening when the sound of screaming sirens eventually did down. Muhammad Khabisa, whose family lived in Beta for more than five generations, they had also lost the land to Israeli settlers. He said the Israeli settlers already have illegally took five acres of land and have moved in about 45 prefabricated homes since the beginning of May. He said we then went to the Israeli police to say we wanted to open a case against the debt of our land, but were told the policemen responsible were not there and told to come back again. But every time we return, there is another excuse as to why they can't help us. Furthermore, our lawyers told us that without new Israeli documentation showing land ownership, they can't fight the case in court. The takeover of the land had previously had been gradual with Israeli soldiers using the land in late 80s as a temporary military base saying they would only use the land for short periods. However, afterwards, they started laying concrete for construction, but a senior military official still assured us that the land belongs to us. So that's the situation now, and no human rights so-called campaigner is ready to prevent Israel. Dear viewers, if you want to watch top news of the day, please subscribe Times of Ummah.